In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make an apple a day dishcloth just like so. Really easy to follow. The last two rounds are probably the most complicated of the entire project but other than that it's a really simple project and it looks great on both sides. It will have a hanger and a leaf just for decoration and you can use this as decoration for your host as well as be practical and use it at the same time. Without further ado let's show you how. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to work on the Apple a Day dishcloth just like so. Really easy to follow. It's a matter of a large circles coming around and then the final two rounds are what changes the shape in order to give it like the base that you see here as well as the nice rounded top just like you see in the photograph that when you click this video. So today uh, we're going to be using a Lily Sugar and Cream. You can also use Bernat Handicrafter yarn. Um, you can see that there's different colors with the leaves as well as the handle but use what you got in order to make it work. It is it is cuter I will say if the leaf is a different color as well as the the handle is a different color like a, a like a wood color as well. So without further ado let's get started and you're going to need a size G or 4 millimeter crochet hook in order to begin. So let's start off with our main color. In my case it will be white and the because it's like an apple slice and we're just going to slip in our hook and we're going to chain 4. So we have 1, two, three and four. Let's form a chain by going into the beginning chain just like so. Grabbing the yarn and pulling it through as a slip stitch and you basically have the center of your apple as well as put the straggler around the center so that you can hide that in a position as you go. Let's begin round number one. We're going to simply chain up three, one, two and three. That counts as a double crochet in the rules of crochet and then you're just gonna double crochet eleven more times. So with that chaining of three in the very beginning you will have a total of twelve uh, posts going all the way around according to the rules. So don't forget to keep a count of your balance here because if you don't keep count it actually is not gonna work out in your favor. So continue to do that and what I just normally do is at the end is this I will count the posts. So one, two, three, four, five and six and just continue to double crochet. We got seven, we have eight, nine, ten, eleven and twelve. So just make sure that you have your twelve before you slip stitch. So just again your post. So just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and twelve and then just slip stitch it to the top of the beginning chain three that you started with just like so. And that will pull everything nice and tight together. So let's begin round number two. So let's get you started. We're going to chain three, one, two and three and then coming into the same stitch where you did the join you just want to make sure that you're doing do a double crochet into the same one and then every stitch going all the way around okay there is a total of 12 will have two double crochets into each. Okay so one and two. So two double crochet into each one of the stitches going all the way around. So that means that you will have 12 different stitches filled with stitches that are two. So there should be a total of 24. Make sure you do count that when you get around to make sure that it stays balanced. It's important that you maintain your counts on this particular apple because the outside has a unique shape that forms the apple and that every stitch matters. So just please double crochet in two every, in every stitch going around. So I'm all the way back around and you can think that there's an actual stitch here but it's not. This is all part of this stitch here. Now I just kind of count it in groups of two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and twelve. So you just simply just join it to the top of the beginning chain three to begin the next round. So what we're going to do then at this point is that we're going to chain up three and the beginning our next one. So we're going to chain up three, one, two and three. This time we're going to immediately start into the next double crochet for a double crochet just like so and we're going to put two into that one this time. And so then the next one will be one double crochet and then the next one will be two. So that's your pattern for this entire round is that there will be one by itself 
and then the next one we'll have two double crochets into the same stitch and keep repeating that same pattern going all the way around. I'll meet you back in just a moment. I'm coming up all the way back around and I know that I'm doing it right is my final will have two double crochets into it before joining. So when you go that one and then the one by itself is and then two, one and then two, the last one will end up having two double crochets into the same one. So that means that my stitch counts are right. So let's move up to your next round. Moving along to round number four, we simply just start by chaining up three and then we just immediately double crochet into the next double crochet that's available to you and then the next one will be two double crochets. So this time the pattern for this particular uh, round is that two double crochets will be sitting by themselves. So one and two by themselves and then the next ones will be two into the same one. Okay, do you get that? So let me repeat that one more time. Let me just get my tension back in my hands. So one and two, so this one's a two. Okay, so we have two double crochets that stand alone. So this one's by itself. The next one's by itself. So there's your two stand alone and then the next one will be two into the same stitch. So continue to repeat that same pattern all the way around. Again coming all the way back around and I'm just following that same thing. So two are standing by itself and the final stitch if my stitches are right will be two double crochets into the final which happens to be right. So that's how you finish off this round. Again join it with the top of the beginning chain three. So okay, so let's continue along with our apple and we're getting bigger and bigger. We only have three more rounds left of this apple. So we have the this one here. This one starts off weird. So let's uh, just begin and normally what we have been doing is that we've been chaining up three and then jumping into the next available ones. This one's slightly different. This one goes back to the theory of that first one that we started off with uh, what we did two in each one. So this time we're going to chain up three one, two and three and this time we're going to go into the same one as the join for another double crochet. So this time we're starting off with two into the same one and then in each one of the next three are going to stand alone. So one, two and three. Okay, so we started off with our two first and then we're finishing off with a three. This means that when I get back all the way around is that I will finish off with three double crochets over here uh, standing alone. I will not finish with the double like we have been all along. So you know it's one of those patterns you have to watch for. So the next one is going to be two double crochets into the same one and then the next three stitches are just one double crochet into each. So we're just continuing the same pattern all the way around. So I have my three, the next one is two into the same one and then the next three is standalone. Continue that same pattern all the way around. Meet you back up and then we're gonna start having fun because we're gonna start doing some shaping. Okay and coming up all the way back around and I'm just putting my two doubles in or my two into the same one and then I'm left with three empty spaces which was the three double crochets that are standing alone. So that means that my stitch counts are still right at this point which is a good thing and we're just gonna join it with the top of the beginning chain three. So this is where we're gonna start changing the pattern a bit because now we're gonna get shaping and now in the apple what we have is that the final white round you can see that we're gonna start off in the very beginning. Look, do you see how there's a difference in heights because we're gonna be playing with the heights in order as we rotate in order to maintain the apple shape that we're gonna get. So we're gonna take our time and I'll show you that in just a moment. Okay, in the next part of the tutorial you're gonna notice that the screen may come in and out of phasing in and out of my, myself. I need to look at the instructions carefully in order to keep the count. So this requires you to keep a, a close eye on the counts going all the way around. So we're going to start off by chaining one and it says one single crochet in the each of the next three double crochets. So we're starting in the next one here is that we're going to go one single crochet into the th next three. So that was one, two, and three. And then it says to do one half double crochet into the next one then from that point. And then what's it say to do? It says to do one double crochet into the next double crochet. So we started off with our singles then we went to half and then we went to uh, doubles at this point. So let's continue. 
So you notice in the instructions that there's a repeat of four times. So this is the repeat that we're gonna start off with. It says to double crochet two times into the next one. Okay. And then it says one double crochet in the next double crochet and it says to do that four times. Okay, so we have one that has two and then one by itself. So that was one of four. So I'm going to do the next, there's gonna be two together into the same one and then one standing by itself. So that was the repeat of two times. So I gotta do this two more times. So the next one is going to have two double crochet and the next one is gonna be one. That was a repeat of three times. So I got this to do this one more time. So we're gonna do two double crochet Okay, and the next one is going to be one double crochet. So that is what fulfills the idea that you have to do it four times in a row. So that's my four times. So we're making ourselves down the side of the apple. So we're going to do a half double crochet into the next one. And what does it say to do now? It says one single crochet into the next six. Okay, so the next six are gonna be one single crochet. So that was one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then it says to do one half double crochet into the next and then it says to do one double crochet into the next two double crochets. So one double crochet in each of the next two double crochets. So there's two double crochets side by side and then what does it say to do? Two double crochets in each of the next three double crochets. So the next three is gonna get two into each. So it was, that was one and then this one's gonna be, there's gonna be two double crochets in this one. This is number two and two double crochets into the next one which is number three. And then it says to do one double crochet into the next and I'm just gonna refer to my instructions. So this is what I can see at this point. So I got my top of my apple. I can see that this is the top of the section and now I'm coming around to the bottom of the apple. Okay, now we're going to put one half double crochet into the next one. And then in the instructions it says one half double crochet into the next and then it says one single crochet into the next one and then it says to do some slip stitching into the next two. So the next two are gonna be slip stitching. This is the very, very bottom of the apple and if you look at the end in here, you will notice you're completely opposite. So this was the top of the apple, this is the bottom. So what we're going to do is that we're going to repeat what we've done over here but we're gonna do it all in reverse and let's begin to do that next. So let's begin. The next one is going to be a single crochet. The next one is going to be a half double crochet. Just like that. And a one double crochet into the next. Okay. So the next ones that we have here is that we're gonna put two double crochets into the next three stitches. So this is gonna be two in the same one for one and then we have two in the same one for two and then two into the same one for, for three. So this is the other side and then what we have is that we're going one double crochet into each of the next two. So just one double crochet into the next two and then uh, next two it says and then the next one is a half double crochet and then single crochet into the next six. So one and two, three, four, five and six. And then we're going to put one half double crochet into the next one. So we're gonna get bigger again and then it says one double crochet into the next double crochet and two into the next and repeat that four times. So this time is that we're going to go opposite to what we did over here. So we're gonna go one double crochet by itself and then two into the same one. So and that was, we have to repeat that four times. So that was one of four. So one sing or double crochet into the first one and then two into the next. 
that was the repeat for number two. And then one double crochet and then two into the next. That was a repeat of number three and then one double crochet and then two into the next. That was a repeat of the four. So what do we do now? Let's look back on our instructions and it says to one double crochet into the next and it says to one half double crochet into the next and then one single crochet into the next three. So we have only three stitches left here and so it's one single crochet into each. So we're all the way back around and then we just join it to the beginning just like so. So now we're gonna change up our color. So fasten off this color and get on your outside color. It could be red or green or whatever color your apple may be. Let's begin our next section and I'm going to use green and I'm gonna just join it with a slip stitch or a slip knot just like so. And I'm just gonna come into the top of where I did the other slip stitch and I'm just gonna grab both and join it. Now this round I found was easier than the last round. You still have to maintain your counts but it's easier to follow along. So let's uh, begin to do that next. So I'm gonna take my time on this round again and we're just gonna simply we fasten on we're just gonna chain one and then we're going to uh, single crochet into the same space to begin. So we've done that and what we're going to do then is then one half double crochet into the next. Okay so we're gonna do one half and it says to one double crochet into each of the next four. So just continuing along. So do you see how I'm grabbing the straggler and just leaving it on top? It begin, I can hide it that way. So we have four to do. So one double crochet into the four. Okay, so this is the top part of the apple. You wanna create that beautiful lip at the top. And then I'm just gonna move the straggler in behind so it's out of the way for the rest of this part here. And it says to do two double crochets into the next stitch and one double crochet into the next five and you wanna repeat that five, uh, four times. So here's what I did is that I'm just going to double crochet two times into the next one. And the next five stitches are going to be, are going to be one each. So I go one, two, three, four, and five. So that was repeat one of four. So let's do the next one. So the next one is gonna have two double crochets. So one and two and then the next one, uh, five are gonna be one. So one, two, three, and four, five. And so that was a repeat of the second repeat of four. So the next one is gonna be two double crochets again. Okay and then the next five. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay and so then the next one, so that was repeat of three. We've gotta do it one more time. So we've got two double crochets together into the same one and then five. One, two, three, four, and five. So by the time you've gotten this done here I have my repeat now and you can see you're almost near to the bottom. You can see the indent here. So I'm getting close to the bottom and now here's what I'm gonna do next. So the next part we're going to do two double crochets into the same one and this time we're only gonna put four double crochets by themselves this time. That's why you don't see a repeat of another repeat. So one, two, three, and four. So once you have your four in there um, it's just really easy again. One half double crochet into the next one and I can tell I'm exactly where I need to be. These two here are the slip stitches and these are a single crochet which is the absolute bottom of your apple. So it's maintaining that shape at the very base. 
So what we're going to do then is that we're gonna repeat exactly what we just did over here but in the opposite direction or the opposite um, stitch counts and let's begin to do that. Okay, so our next stitch is going to be a half double crochet so we're gonna build it back up and then one double crochet into the next four. So one, two, three, and four and then the next one are going to be two double crochets together into the same one. Okay, does that make any sense to you? Hopefully it does and then what we're going to do then is that we're going to start doing a repeat pattern just like so. So this uh, that one that's two together is part of the repeat pattern of four times so that's already part of the one. So we just have to put five uh, double crochets after this. Okay, so this is one of four repeats starting with that double that we did. I kind of jumped ahead I'm sorry about that. Once you understand this pattern it just makes sense and you just start doing it. So there's one of four. So the next one is going to be two double crochets into the same one and then five sitting by themselves. So one, two, three, four and five and so then this is that was repeat of two of four. So the next one is gonna be two double crochets again and then five by itself. So one, two, three and four and five and then we that was three of the repeat of four so we have to do it again. So two into the same one and then the next five are by themselves. So one, two, three, and four and five. But we're not all the way back up yet. What do we have to do next? Okay, the next one, the next part we have the next part is that we're gonna put two double crochets in the same one and then there's going to be four double crochets by themselves. So one, two and three. Whoops, I didn't finish that last one. So that was one, two. This is gonna be number three. Let me just pull my tension tight back again. This does happen even with the best of us. So three and then like so and then what we're going to do is then a half double and then a single just like so and then we're just going to join it to the beginning just like this. So that would conclude on how you do the apple on the complete outside of it and then basically we have to do the handle as well as the leaf next. So at this time please fasten off your yarn and weave in your ends really nicely and then when we come back we'll start doing the handle and then we'll do the leaf. So let's begin to do the, let's begin to do the handle next. Now you need two strands of yarn. If you only have one then all you have to do is that there's two ends of the yarn. There's the middle and then the exterior right? So you just have to just grab both sides and just kind of just take your time and use both of them instead of having to buy two different balls of yarn. So that kind of is an easy way. Now I would make an extra long tail when you start with so you can use it for sewing purposes and then start a slip knot. Here's the fun thing about it is that you want to join it immediately. So just like you see it's already on attached to this one here. We want to attach it to the new one right on the very top like so. And just grabbing the yarn leading to the yarn balls and just pull it through as a slip stitch and then you just have to chain 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if the yarn ball is creeping up on you, just let more tension out. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And all I want to do is once I get my twelve in, is that I'm going to come in and I'm just going to slip, slip stitch it to the beginning just like so again. Making sure I grab everything and I wanna do a generous tail 
that's leading to the yarn ball as well because I can use that for sewing as well. And then you're done with that particular color. So I'm just gonna just wrap the yarn and pull it through that loop just to lock it in a position. And then with the darning needle I wanna hide in these loose ends really nicely. Okay, so just grab a darning needle and just weave it in underneath. I'll show you how to do that once. To do a really nice hide you just put your darning needle onto your yarn and just wanna weave it in. If you weave it in three times back and forth it's impossible for the yarn to flex in three different directions at one time in order for your loose ends to fall out. So you can go in one direction. Now this is cotton so it's gonna be a little bit tough but that's the whole point right because you wanna do your dishes and not have these things fall apart. Okay so that was one and then I wanna come back in the same direction I just came in. So this is two. That one's a tough one here. <laughs> That's two. And then I wanna come back in the same direction. Again going into a different part of the fibers. I am using a really sharp um, needle which is kind of freaking me out too. <laughs> So yeah, so I got that and I wanna do that with both of the ends just like you see and we're gonna start to do the leaf next. So please do that and I'll see you back in just a moment. I'll start the leaf for you. So let's work on a leaf together and we're just gonna create a slip knot and the leaf is really simple. It's just a consisting of one particular row. So what we have here is that we have our slip knot on. Let's chain 12 together. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Now to begin going back across this row we're going to start off with the following. We're going to start with second chain from the hook 1 and 2. Go to the second over just turn it around it just as a nicer look and just do one single crochet. And then as per the instructions it says to one half double crochet into the next. Okay and then the next one it says to one double crochet into the next. So now we're gonna start doing some trebles and we're going to do some uh, into five trebles. So we're just gonna wrap twice and in the next five stitches we're just going to put one treble each. So these are making the leaf go bigger. So just wrapping twice with each one. Wrap twice. So this is number three. Okay, and this is number four. And number five. Okay, and now what it says to do is that we've got our five in. We're going to double crochet into the next one. We're going to half double into the next just like you see here. And now the last one we're in the last one we're going to put three single crochets. So just going right into the last chain is that we're gonna put three single crochets. One, two, and, and three. And what I would recommend at this point is see this loose end, bury it in as you go because we're gonna do the same thing going back in the other direction. So the next stitch is that we're going to do a half double so you see how I turned it upside down. So now I'm working down the other side. The next one is going to be a double. And the next five are going to be trebles. So I'm just turned it around and I'm just working down the, the beginning chain that we started with. So that was one of five. That was two. This is three. is four and five. And then continuing along with the same pattern. So we have one double crochet into the next. I'm not even looking at the instructions. I'm just remembering that. The next one is a half. Okay and then the final is going to be two double or two single crochets into the final. Now does that make any sense? It does because on the other side when we turned around is that we had um, 
that we had three right in the end. So you already started off with one single crochet right in the beginning and so then these are the two that you finished with and just slip stitch it and then you're going to leave this string as extra long so that you can use it to sew to the underneath of the handle. So just pull that up. So now you can get rid of the other one that's been you dragged along underneath the stitches. So get rid of that one out so you don't get confused. And then using darning needle, let's just grab it up. Like so. You got it in and you just grab your work. Okay, and then right up underneath the handle somewhere wherever you choose. Just pull it in. I just wanna do it so it kind of like comes out towards you and then through a different area on the back through the leaf once again. I'm using a really sharp thing. This is freaking me out because this cotton is really stiff. It's great for dishes but it's not as soft to get a darning needle through as other projects that you would experience. So just going through back and forth a couple times just so that you feel comfortable that it is attached. And then what I would do then on the back side, let me turn it around is that I would just fasten it underneath some of these stitches over here and tie a knot. So just coming in, tying a knot and then again sliding it up and down inside the fibers in order to make it work. As long as you go into different areas of the fibers it'll get it trapped really securely into place and if you go three times then you have the magic formula of it not falling out on you. So you can trim it now right to the wick, right to the like so and then off camera let me just put the things down and now I have my, my leaf that's hanging from my apple. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for joining me and hopefully you've enjoyed working with this tutorial. This is the apple a day and enjoy me next time for more fruit patterns and ideas on behalf of the crochet crowd as well as yarnspirations.com. Have a great day. We'll see you.